Crazy Boy Productions. Miss Mead is a great teacher. She is always there when you need her, and she is very interactive and helpful in her class. I'm Chesney, and this week we're going to be doing trick questions. What is the nation's capital? Washington State. No. no. <laughs> Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. Your mother has four children, north, east, south. What was the name of the fourth child? Semen. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Seven plus six is 12, or seven plus six are 12? Is 12. It doesn't equal 12. Oh. Sorry. It equals 13. Can you name the two days starting with T besides Tuesday and Thursday? You said the two days that start in T besides Tuesday and Thursday. Today and tomorrow. Correct. <laughs> Dude, you should, let me hear the question first. I had to think about it. Which state has the highest population? LA, Chicago, or Miami? LA. It's not a state. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> what are the last four letters of the alphabet? <laughs> WX. YZ. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Spell top. Top. <laughs> now say top two times fast. Top, top. Now say it three times fast. Top, 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 top. What do you do at a green light? You stop. <laughs> it's a green light. <laughs> Which state did the Boston Tea Party take place? Boston. That's not a state. It's not. Oh wait, wait what state? What state is Boston? Wait, wait. Um, it was like I don't know the state that is. Wait, wait, wait. It's like where is it? Is Massachusetts not yes. either? Oh. How many terms did Benjamin Franklin serve as a president? One or two? One. He wasn't a president. Oh yeah, he would. Okay. <laughs> what does the E in email stand for? <laughs> Bro, it stands for electronic. Correct. He's so smart. I was gonna say internet, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chesney, see y'all next week. My name is Chase Bright, and welcome to Chase's Challenge. Let's get started. All right, Coach Shans, can you name us five track events? Uh, long jump, high jump, 800, 1600, 3200. Boy, if you don't get... <laughs> All right, here we have Madison and Hannah. Can you just come up with a handshake for us, but you only get one shot at it? I guess y'all win. Congratulations. Yay! Go team! <laughs> Here we have Anthony against me in a race to see if you can do 15 push ups first. Are you ready? Sure. All right, go. Two. 
case, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot to count. Bitch. Yeah, you need <laughs> I didn't count. You're so red. Your face is so red. I didn't count. And that's it for this week's challenges. See you next week. Hi, I'm Wesley Sots. And I'm Tiffany Gallagher. This is Jag News. Jag News. Let's get right into the announcements for the week. If sophomores, if you're wondering where your t-shirts are, if you pay class dues, they're in Miss Studer's room, D13. You can pick them up before school, in between classes, or at lunch. SAD Club is hosting a social tonight from 4 o'clock to 5.45 in the cafeteria. Come out and bring a friend. Also, interested in trying out for the powerlifting team this year? Those trials will be Monday and Tuesday in the weight room. DCHS Winter Court applications are now available, so pick one of those up if you're interested in doing it. Let's go to the weather. I'm Chesney. And I'm Madison. And we're back here with your Jag weather. Today it's going to be sunny with a high of 46. Saturday and Sunday is supposed to be mostly sunny with a high of 51. Monday is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 53. And Tuesday is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 56. I'm Chesney. And I'm Madison. And that's all for your weather. Now, let's see what's brewing up in sports with Johnny and Bobo. What's up, guys? Back at it again with the sports news. You already know how to kick it up with a little yes, whoa. Yes, sir. But we're going to start out football taking the final game of the season. The Louis Bar got the duck. You, you got it. Hold on. W. w. You already know. 14 0. We're going, matter of fact, I play the game. We give it to the whole football team. Ben. Giving up, what, out of what, three years, getting the winning record for the season. You know, 6 and 5. They were doing the thing out there. Next year, going to be bigger, better. Let's be. And for playoffs next year. Playoffs, you already know. We're going to give also a shout out to the girls basketball. We're getting Big Dub versus Oxford. 60 to 53. We're going to get two play the games. You know, we got two on. Two of them. So um, we're going to get them 15 to Visha Dorsey. She had 12 points. And then also number 11, Janai Jones. She had 23 out there. Shooter. Go me. You already know. Them boys basketball took it in overtime to Oxford. But yes, guess what? Sir. Got that though. 64 to 63. Play the game. Mr. Jason ah, Bobo stop here. It, man. Ah, stop it, man. He's tight. Stop it. Stop he it. He had 21 points. And the game with the buzzer beater. What can I say? My meal's out there eating, cooking all day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Come on, man. Come on. I had to get the dough for the one time. A little bit of dessert, too. Also, can't forget about <laughs> soccer. Soccer, they went out um, big time. They went on uh, a tournament in Oxford. Boys went 2-0 and out the weekend. And then girls, they went 1-1. One one. They took a tough loss, but they also got that big dub, too. Got up a couple games with both. Soccer has a game Friday at Center here. Make sure y'all be there. And basketball also has a game Tuesday and Friday against South Haven and Hernando. Both of them on the road, so make sure y'all come out there and get us some support. Yeah, it's going to be real tough. It's going to be real tough. Real tough, tough games. Tough. Tough, tough. Very tough. Very tough. Tougher than tough. Super duper tough. Well, that's all for us. That's it. All right. I'll see y'all next week. That's it for Jack News. I'm Wesley Sots. And I'm Tiffany Catlett. See y'all next week.